uh, a non-restorable fraction of the lunar simulant, uh, 50 to 75 microns. Uh, anything under 10 microns is complete, and so we don't want to uh, expose our researchers to dust and things that get in, gets into his lungs. Um, we do use the under 10 microns because that's a fraction that's important on the moon, um, and that's a fraction that would stick uh, more tenaciously to surfaces. Uh, but uh, we do that in vacuum chambers and blood boxes and so on. And we have Apollo samples, Apollo 15, 17, 16, and 17 samples here in SAFE that we use for things kind of well. But for day-to-day -day testing and demos, we use, we use similar. Um, so if I sprinkle dust on this glass panel to simulate exploration activities that are going to pick up dust um, onto a camera lens, for example, and then we actually turn it on, it, uh, it removes the dust very readily. Um, it, uh, there's some chaotic motion that it sometimes sends it to the center, but eventually it erodes it and appears. And then if, if you leave it running and attempt to um, throw dust at it, it detects it very, very well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, it's very effective. It uses very low power, um, <coughs> about a milliwatt or so, or a few milliwatts of power. Um, even for large panels like that, the electronics that we are um, optimizing uh, right now, that our prototypes fit in this box. We have a prototype back here that we're testing in one of the vacuum chambers and weigh, weighs less than, than half a kilogram, so about 300 milligrams. Um, and so we're developing uh, that electronics on a, uh, a, uh, a, a, a one of those panels that we're doing it put on a filter light uh, uh, system that uh, we're going to attach to the panel lens on one of the uh, landers uh, that are competing for the Google the place on the moon and the moon and actually the place on the lander uh, We're also developing a payload to fly on station, on the outside of the station, and something called the